Welcome to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute training video, High Performance Coolant Change. Today you'll see how to change the coolant and coolant filters on 130, 260, and 400 amp HPR and HPRXD autogas systems. Before beginning this procedure, be sure to have all the necessary parts and equipment you'll need to complete the job. This will include new filters, coolant, an air supply, a short hose, ideally a quarter inch inside diameter, a bucket, and materials to help with cleanup. The first thing you'll want to do is remove all power to the machine by turning off the breaker to the power supply and use the lockout tagout procedure. Now remove the left side cover for the 130 or 260 power supply. If working on an HPR 400 XD, remove the side cover from the cooler. Locate the coolant drain valve on the coolant pump and connect the hose. Open the valve and allow the coolant to drain into the bucket. Use a rag to catch any dripping coolant. Once the coolant is drained, remove the coolant hose from the fitting marked with red and insert the hose into a bucket. Unlock and turn on the breaker box for the power supply. Turn on the coolant pump through the CNC using the coolant override soft key for the Autogas HPR power supplies. When all coolant is drained, remove power from the system and reconnect the coolant hose. Now remove the filter housing on the back of the power supply for the 130 and 260 or from the back of the HPR 400 XD cooler. Remove the filter element and properly discard. Older systems may have a reusable metal filter that can be cleaned and reused or replaced with a white filter element included in a preventative maintenance kit. Check the O-ring in the housing and make sure it's installed correctly to prevent leaks. Now you can install the new filter element and filter housing. These high-performance systems also use an inline filter that needs to be checked and periodically replaced. Locate the inline filter housing just below the coolant reservoir. Remove the cover and clean or replace the filter. Once again, when installing the filter element, check the O-ring that's installed in the housing to prevent any leaking. We now have all the coolant removed from the system and the filters changed, so we can add new coolant. These systems will use 3 to 4 gallons of coolant, depending on the length of the torch leads and the location of the ignition console. After the coolant tank is full, return power to the system. Push coolant through the lines via the CNC using the coolant override soft key for the Autogas HPR power supplies. The longer the coolant lines and torch leads, the more times you'll need to run the pump. Add coolant to ensure the reservoir is at least 75% full after the pump turns off. Hypertherm's premixed coolant is 30% propylene glycol and 70% distilled water and is pink in color. The 3070 mix is used for the vast majority of applications and environments. Hypertherm does offer a 100% propylene glycol option for extreme environments where a different mixture may be necessary. Only propylene glycol should be used in high performance systems. For additional information about Hypertherm coolant mixing instructions, refer to the product instruction manual. This concludes the training video on high performance coolant change. Thank you for watching.